That's why having carbs in the evening will help you relax by increasing serotonin. What's up? ピニコハヤクです。さあ今日はストレスが多い人、一日中炭水化物を摂ると痩せる。見ていきましょう。糖質制限、ケトなど炭水化物を避ける食事方法があります。今回はストレスマネジメントの観点から炭水化物を使う方法をクリシャンさんが教えてくれています。なぜそうなるのかまではっきりと話をしてくれているので参考にしてみてくださいどうぞ In a previous capsule,、uh, I mentioned briefly that some people, those who have anxiety issues, those who don't tolerate stress that well,、uh, cannot go on a super low carb diet. Because it will just make them even worse at handling stress. It might actually lead to negative body composition changes. So they're trying to get leaner, but they might actually get fatter.、Uh, so, why is that? Well, it's because carbohydrates can have a positive impact on how your body handles and stress. For example, by increasing serotonin levels. So, to do that, you have two approaches. You can either use Uh, carbohydrates in the evening. So, for example, if the problem is not so much your own nature, if the problem is not that you're an anxious person, if your problem is not that you worry about everything, but, so you, and you go on a low carb diet, so technically you should be able to get good results from it. But you start to retain water and you're looking fatter and looking flatter. So, that tells me that low carb is creating a problem with stress management. Uh, but if you're not an anxious person, if you're not a stressed out person, then the problem is not so much that the cortisol level is constantly elevated throughout the day. The problem is that the accumulation of stress in your day can lead to a problem in the evening. You cannot shut down your brain. So that's why having carbs in the evening will help you relax by increasing serotonin and putting you in parasympathetic mode. It will help you put the switch on off. So, if you're someone who has a tremendous amount of daily stress, if you're running a business,、um, if you are a psychologist always dealing with people's problems, and that, that can affect you. And, and that builds up, and when you go home, you are worrying about all these problems, all these stuff, and you're always constantly mentally active. So, having carbs in the evening. Will help you get leaner. Even though for most people, we normally recommend having carbs more about the, around the workout or earlier during the day. For these people, it will help them getting leaner, putting their carbs more in the afternoon or in the evening. Now, if you're someone who is naturally anxious, so even in a normal state, even when you are in a good mood, even when you're normal, you worry about all the details and everything affects you. That you are an anxious person, then you should have carbs throughout the day. That will help lessen the cortisol response. Don't forget the purpose, the, the function of cortisol. It is to mobilize energy, mostly car- stored carbohydrates, right? But if you are constantly giving your body a small amount of carbohydrates, you don't need to constantly pump out cortisol. Because you already have fuel from carbs available in the bloodstream. The problem is, you cannot have a lot of carbs at any sitting. The reason is, if you're constantly stressed out and you're constantly elevating cortisol, as I mentioned in the first capsule, it can lead to insulin resistance. So that means your body will not respond well to carbs. So if you give too much carbs at any given sitting, you just can't manage it. You have an excessive insulin response that will hurt your fat loss process. So you need very constant six to eight carbohydrates feeding, but like 20 grams at a time. Just enough to lessen the cortisol response, but not so much that you need to spike insulin, which would be a problem in your case. So, these are two examples of how carbohydrates can be used to help you manage stress. So, I got this to the show. Cortisol no kino wa energy o hakobukoto. Ketchuni juvena energy ga ariba, cortisol no high stwa on sairokotoga dekir. Tonokoto desa. 
以前こちらの動画でもコルチゾールが出てくると血中に無理やり糖質を送り込んで体脂肪を使うことができないから痩せないとの意見がありましたなので今回は炭水化物を使ってコルチゾールをコントロールする方法でしたストレスを多く感じていて痩せにくくなっている人ぜひ試してみてくださいまた炭水化物1回あたり 20g と話していたんですができるだけ GI 値の低い食材を選びましょうみんなは普段ストレス対策で行っていることはありますかコメント欄で教えてください僕は減量中であれば食欲の代わりに物欲物を買うことでストレスを解消しています最後まで見ていただいてありがとうございます。感想や動画のリクエスト、チャンネル登録お待ちしてます。ではまた。